is Miss Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for my very first micro home with the Sims 4 Tiny Living Stuff Pack. This pack came out today and I had to work all day. So I rushed home and the second I got home, I downloaded this and dove right into trying to build the smallest possible tiny home that would actually count as being on a tiny home like residential lot so if you guys did not know there are three tiers i did leave the kind of like qualifications or requirements up on the screen for some time because i wanted to give you guys a chance to look them over so basically i was restricted to 32 tiles i played around with this a lot before i recorded it did not come together this easily this was a very real challenge and let me just say not only do i love all of the build and buy objects and the create a sim objects but i absolutely love this lot type i love the perks that come with each tier so basically if you do a tier one tier two or tier three home there are actually different perks that come along with it and the micro home gets the most perks so i wanted to go right in with the like hardest challenge because I'm not a tiny home builder. I've been trying to practice leading up to the release of this pack, but a 32 tile home, that was gonna be a stretch. So I did kind of lay out a floor plan somewhat off camera. I show literally everything though in this video. So you're already seeing some of the new items because basically the door was new, but all the other build and buy were from other packs like base game, Realm of Magic, I think were um, what the windows were from and Parenthood, I used the Parenthood counters, but that Murphy bed, there are like four different kinds of Murphy beds all have different kind of add-ons. This little clutter shell for the kitchen, the wall decorations, like I just can't, I'm honestly speechless. I think this is probably one of, if not my favorite stuff pack that we have ever gotten with The Sims 4. Like all in all, 10 out of 10, recommend. I mean, of course, that's if you enjoy this kind of stuff. There are a lot of great decoration items, a lot of obviously space saver items, but I really loved it. Like the clutter items that came with this pack were really, really adorable and honestly just really pretty too. I, I didn't expect them to be so pretty, but all the wood tones, I mean, it basically looks like Ikea furniture, <laughs> but like all of the wood tones are so pretty and they match other items from different packs that we already have in game. So all in all, I am so pleased. And all I've done is played around with the micro home. That's it. Like I haven't explored everything else. I have not died by Murphy bed yet. So if you guys did not know, death by Murphy bed is a real thing. This used to be in all of the other Sims iterations that had Murphy beds to my knowledge, and it's back. My test Sim, which is actually a male Sim, I used him and he got basically squished by said Murphy bed like two or three times, but he didn't die. And every time it got stuck, my heart sank. Like I, like I genuinely, all I've been seeing on like Twitter and just within the Sims community, it, are everyone's sims dying by the murphy bed so i feel like it happens really really often and that is really easy to do and i was honestly horrified and then i made my sim self and i was like i'm gonna take a risk i'm gonna put my sim self in here and we're gonna see if i die and i didn't or i haven't yet i should say but look at all of these items like look at them they're just so freaking perfect and they are very mid-century slash ikea like they're they're kind of a really healthy mix i think in my head so you could use this with some get famous stuff you could use this with what is it like the cool kitchen stuff would work too even some base game things like there are so many items that now work together so i am absolutely thrilled with everything and you guys can probably see now too so the layout is pretty much configured what ended up happening though, and I don't know how this happened, to be totally frank, because I'm still playing around with it, I'm still kind of new. So I didn't change a single thing in regards to the tiles, and I was so confused. But then, what I ended up doing is, I like I met the requirement there, everything was good, and then what I ended up doing is I ended up adding a chimney. And guess what? I made a chimney out of a half wall because there's this little bump out in the back, and that chimney added one tile and I freaked out. You're gonna see it like kind of once I wrap up the landscaping, which by the way was super fun. I just wanted to go really colorful and kind of chaotic and lush amongst this, I don't know, like amidst I should say, not amongst, amidst this kind of little modern micro home. 
There, there it is. That's it. That's the chimney. I put the chimney and I think that is what added the one extra tile that bumped it out of the micro home tier. And I noticed it as I kind of like put these tiles down and I was thinking like, I know the tiles don't count as, like putting it on this flooring doesn't count as a tile being added to the count because it's not technically a room and it's not a foundation or anything like that. But I was so confused for the longest time and now I have officially figured it out. So it was honestly just like a serious learning curve for me and it was an absolute blast. Like I love this little micro home. I would 110% live here if I wasn't, you know, basically a hoarder of things because I kind of have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of books actually. So I don't know if that bookshelf that I put in there, it's like the bookshelf TV stereo combo. 110% would not be enough for me and all my books. So um, I probably wouldn't be able to because I just have too much stuff, but I would love it. And I felt that this little micro home needed a nice little backyard, like little patio area without adding like a foundation or anything. So I just kind of put this picnic table out here with a grill and I put the little kind of like overhang, I suppose, that we got with get together. And then I kind of wrapped up the landscaping. And this is when I was like, what the heck? put me one tile over. Could not figure it out. I was looking at the room like, where is it? Where's the extra tile? I thought I figured this out. Like what is going on? So I'm so sorry if there's whiplash right now. But what I ended up doing is I ended up taking out just this little corner piece and using the thinner dresser. And I will say I had to take it out. My Sim could not get past that little tiny dresser to get to the bathroom and therefore everything was ruined. <laughs> but I thought if I pushed it into the wall more, they might have a better chance. So I did thoroughly play test this. The bookshelf works, the Murphy bed can basically be put up, be put down. Everything in the kitchen works, the bathroom works, just everything works. And I am over the moon happy with my first micro home. So there may be a little bit of a, um, influx of tiny homes over the next week or so because I'm just obsessed with trying everything with this pack and challenging myself like I finally feel really challenged in the sims which is something that I don't think I have felt in a very long time if ever so I'm just really excited and I barely even talked about the build but just I'm so happy with this stuff pack for me it was totally worth the ten dollars if you're considering it I say get it, try it out, it's so worth it. But thank you guys so much for checking out my very first micro home and I'll catch you next time I post a video. Bye. I feel it coming, I feel it taking control. It's the hurt I imagine From us to nothing There's something missing you stole And it's a little tragic I know I'm better off Living without your love But time on again my thoughts go back to when We were crazy kids with a lot of feelings when I rode with you, it was all downhill and Losing control was a part of that thrill A part of me still wants you A part of me still wants you I've got my own place An extra toothbrush as well for someone you don't know of But these are long days And even though you can tell There's something I can't get over 